Welcome to the waterfowl split in Oklahoma. It's time to fix decoys, clean up decoys, and paint decoys if you want to. Why paint decoys? Yeah, it takes some time, but it's kind of fun, and I like the idea of hunting over decoys I've painted myself. Each decoy looks a little bit different, and it's also it's a great way to save some money uh, in the long run. Uh, I got about 50 bucks worth of paint here, but it's gonna last me forever. I'm not gonna try and tell you how to do every little bitty thing. I mean, you gotta use some common sense. I've seen videos on how to clean decoys. Well, you know, bring them home and put them under a pressure washer. Uh, if they got that red crappy uh, Oklahoma, western Oklahoma red gummy dirt on them, probably some Murphy's oil soap and a little bit of a soap to scrub them up. But if you're gonna paint them and redo them, you wanna get that soap and everything off and just use water. I actually finish these off in the bathtub with a good old dishwashing brush and this little brass uh, pots and pan brush uh, which on these plastic ones it cleans them off real good without messing up the finish too much. Gets that loose paint off, gets all the dirt off. Um, if you wash them with clean hot water and brush them good with these two things you're good to go. Now these, if you got something that's a little slick and you're worried the paint's not going to stick to it just I just use a fine fine grit sanding sponge or a, uh, I think they call this a finishing uh, finishing wipe I just call it you know scrubber um, you know, I got a million everybody's got these around their house for cleaning pots and pans or general cleaning of anything and just you know rub them down good and just rough that surface up a little bit um, all you need to fix some decoys is maybe a little painters tape some epoxy uh, pick your epoxy but I like the gorilla the storm front, she was pretty messed up on the back end here. It looked like somebody maybe stepped on it or something like that and was busted over. And uh, it looked pretty hard to fix. And a lot of times I don't like to mess with them if the seams are messed up. A hole is one thing, you can patch that, but a seam is just, you know, it's like you're just doomed for more trouble down the road. But I started doing, I did something new this time and put these things under my daughter's hair dryer in the sink and got them warmed up. And man, this thing was really kind of crooked and you couldn't really straighten it out. But I got this tail end really warmed up with that hair dryer. And boy, it, it, it just helped me put that just to bend it straight and get it right back into, into place. So it was really good in shape. The other thing I thought about with that, with warming these things up, with the hair dryer, and then putting the glue on with that seam, as the decoy cools, it should pull air in and hopefully pull some of that that epoxy down into the into the seams. Um, but these both came out real good. Um, this guy had some water in him, so I had to do the old shake and heat and shake and heat. And it's like trying to get a trying to get the water out of your kid's bath toy. If anybody you guys have kids out there, you know what I mean by that. I just put an eighth inch hole down there at the lower spot and found in a bathroom sink. Uh, if you put the keel up on one end of the sink and the tail on the other end, he sits just right like that. And so the hole is right here. So I just let him sit there until all the water drained down and shake it out, squeeze it out, shake it out, squeeze it out. And eventually he dries up and warm him up. Put in a little glue and you're good to go. Then you get on to painting and any hobby paint kit uh, will work. You want a variety of flat brushes, a one inch flat, uh, maybe a three quarter flat, half inch flat, quarter inch flat, and a couple of bitty, little bitty round ones. Um, the real workhorse, the one I end up using the most is this little 93 cent uh, pure bristle one inch flat brush that you end up doing using this for a lot of that, just that overcoat, that light, light brush over, just dab it, wipe it, not so there's so much on there, and just keep wiping it on over the top. That's what I'll use to get, you know, put all the light colored paint on this hen with this. You'll probably see me using that. Just, just, uh, it's a, that's the one I probably use the most out of all of them. Um, these are just good for, you know, feather detail when you want to get on those lines real close, real careful. Uh, the flat brushes are good for that. They're good for getting into the, you know, into the corners, into the edges, and just getting your darker lines, um, you know, getting your separation and things like that. And of course your little uh, pointed 
brushes, little round pointed brushes, things like nostrils and and beak ends and eye eyes and things like that. Anything small, pretty common sense. The paints here I've got, they got Parkers. There's lots of different uh, uh, brands you can get or, or different paint kits that you can get out there. I settled on these. I, I got them last year and uh, they're uh, supposedly a UV uh, paint inside, something that's supposed to be visible to the ducks and all that. I don't know about all that, but, but I like the way it looks um, and the way these decoys turned out looking from you know the, the original to the end. You'll know, start off with your dark underneath. Uh, you work into the head, put some black on the top, and then you just put the lighter colors on top, layer it in, brush it in, and if you goof, just start over. <laughs> you know, but I think that's a pretty good looking uh, decoy. Uh, you know, it's got these these this Parker paint and these green heads. Um, you can see. This one almost, I mean, almost looks like it's flocked. Uh, it's just got that dull green uh, that has kind of a nice look where this guy is just, it's so shiny. And, you know, of course it's beat up a little bit too from use, but that one was going to, you know, guide was, it was, looks a lot better now cleaned up than it did when I got it, believe me. Um, but, you know, a little power washer out in the yard, the summer and the little time in the bathtub with the scrub brushes and it looks like this and it's ready to ready to paint. I mean if I can say anything about this have a little bit of fun with it. I mean here I'm on my living room couch for a reason because I'm gonna do this uh, on a Saturday or a Sunday and I'm gonna say I'm gonna sit here or a Monday night I'm gonna sit here and watch football and uh, drink a beer and paint some decoys. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah! A nice way to pass a day. Um, Get these guys cleaned up, get them looking like ducks again, get them strung and head out and see what they look like. The real test will be to get them in the daylight and get them get a look at them, but um, I'll give you a before and after. You'll see a before and after on these things, and uh, I think you'll, uh, I think you might decide to buy some paints.